Hello and welcome to Bike Portal. We've all grown up watching superhero movies and one time or the other, we've all fantasized about flying like one. What if I told you the bike that we're riding today is going to take you really close to that experience? Welcome the iconic Triumph Daytona 675. The bike is simply a masterpiece. It is a shining beacon of precise engineering, gorgeous design and one of the best soundtracks ever from a super sports. And today we find ourselves lucky enough to get to know this superhero in real life. Daytona, or the trumpet, was already famous for its charming exhaust note. But the new Daytona took it to a whole new level. One of the most prominent changes that Triumph brought to the table was taking the old school underseat exhaust off and replacing it with an underbelly unit. The air intake also grew bigger that not only looked better in terms of visuals but also helped the bike breathe easy. At the front, the twin headlights were made wider, converging at the nose and sitting perfectly below the new bigger ram air intake. The white and blue color combination on the fairing looks classy and the rear blue subframe under the seat has been redesigned that looks way better than before. It comes with LCD multifunction instrumental panel that displays speedometer, trip computer, lap timer, gear position indicator and a lot of other stuff in digital manner. While the old school tachometer looks too intimidating to look at. The only issue is that the information is not that legible to read in adverse lighting conditions. Back in 2013, the bike received a significant update. It transformed from inside out or we can say it leveled up. It grew faster accurate and more celestial and we can without a doubt state that this is the best super sports the British ever produced. So apart from losing some weight, getting more mass centralized and looking more ferocious, the most significant update the bike received was in its engine. Its 675cc inline 3 cylinder engine comes with titanium wells that helps the engine to spin faster. So leaving aside the technical part, the question is how this engine feels different when it comes to real life riding experience and we'll just explain you that. The engine in TOX is the 675cc liquid-cooled 12-well DOHC inline 3-cylinder unit thanks to the new larger 76mm bore and shorter 49.6mm stroke Daytona's engine can now spin up to 14,400 rpm which is 500 rpm higher than the previous generation the bike also gets twin injector per cylinder system, like most of the heroic super sports out there. The Daytona got a higher revving engine that delivered a stronger torque output widespread throughout the rev range. Unlike its Japanese counterparts, which get scratching relatively late towards higher RPM, Daytona does the same early. We tried to record Daytona 0-100 kmph run several times and got an average of 3.6 to 3.7 seconds. Unlike its sweeter R model, the Daytona 675 ABS comes fitted with Kayaba 41mm upside down forks with adjustable preload having 110mm travel. At the rear, it is equipped with Kayaba Monoshock with 129mm rear wheel travel. The suspension setup felt at home through daily city riding conditions. We didn't get a chance to take the bike off to track but we were certainly happy with the control it gave to the rider on modest curving roads. Though these shocks felt comfortable on daily roads, but it's still a punishment if you have to ride the bike in choked up traffic. So the bike turns out 116.5 bhp and a highest 70 nm of torque and it now moves forward with a stronger thrust throughout the rear range and is butter smooth in throttle on-off transitions. And heads off to Triumph for making such a super sport which is so light on its feet that it almost gives an impression of riding a 250. Being a super sports, its handlebars are set very low, foot pegs are rear set and overall riding position is demanding. Triumph did everything they could to make the bike an even better, more fluidic handler. It comes loaded with twin 310mm Nissan 4 piston monoblock calibers at front and single 220mm disc Brembo single piston caliber at the rear. It won't be wrong to say that we never used more than a single finger to bring the bike to halt. Its ABS can be switched to on, off and set to track mode. Well, we assume you already know about the first two modes. So what the track mode does is that it disengages the ABS on the rear wheel to let you slide through a corner and have some fun.
Turn after turn hitting the apex never felt like this and I'm sure nothing else can make you feel like the Daytona does. It's a symphony. It feels like you're a wizard riding a broomstick and you're controlling it with telepathy. Don't forget to hit us on bikepole.in in case we forgot to add something in the video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our videos. It's goodbye for now. Ride safe.